If you are facing corrupted system files, boot issues, slow performance, network problems, or Windows update errors, in this video, I am going to show you 5 most powerful built-in repair commands that actually fix things, not just check. But before we begin, I have all these powerful Windows repair tools combined in one simple program, ready to fix your PC with just a click. The ultimate Windows repair tool is your all-in-one solution to scan, repair, and restore your Windows system in just a few minutes. You will see options for checking disk health, repairing system files, fixing corrupted windows images, restoring broken network settings, and boot repair instructions for those stubborn startup issues. Or if you want the ultimate fix, you can choose the option 6 to run or repair and let the tool handle everything for you in one go. Now because this tool taps directly into windows most powerful repair commands, you will need to run it as administrator. So instead of wasting time typing complicated commands or trying one repair after another, this tool does all the heavy lifting for you. Download it now from the pinned comment, run it as administrator, and in just a few clicks, you will have your PC running smooth, stable, and error-free again. Now I'm going to walk you through the process manually, step by step. I will explain what each tool does, and more importantly, what kind of problem it actually fixes, so that you'll be able to target the exact issue with the right command. Let's start by typing CMD in the search bar and running command prompts as an administrator. The first on our list is the system file checker. If programs keep crashing unexpectedly, Windows features like search, start menu, or file explorer behave abnormally. Frequent blue screen of death errors, error messages like Windows resource protection found corrupted files, or your updates fail to install properly. System file checker is the first safe repair tool. Type SFC, which stands for system file checker. It is a Microsoft utility built into Windows. Scan now tells SFC to scan all protected system files immediately and automatically attempt repairs. In the background, SFC will scan all critical system files stored in Windows Resource Protection. If a file is missing, corrupted, or modified, SFC compares it against a cache copy located in the Windows side-by-side -side store. It then replaces the bad file with a clean version from that cache. The second powerful utility you're going to explore is the Development Imaging Service and Management tool. If you run the SFC scan now, but you received a message like Windows Resource Protection found corrupted files but was unable to fix some of them. Moreover, your Windows update keeps filling or gets stuck, and you also experience system crashes or instability after installing a driver, and you realize that your core component like Windows Defender, Start Menu, or Net Framework is not working, then this powerful built-in command is for you. Type DISM, which stands for Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool Online, which tells DISM to target the currently running Windows installation, which is not an offline image. Cleanup Image, which focuses on fixing corruption inside the Windows system image. Restore health, which will repair the image by locating and replacing bad files. On running this command, it will check the Windows component store, scan for corruption in that store, and if corruption is found, it will make attempts to repair the corruptions automatically by pulling out the correct files from the Windows update, which needs internet connection. Moreover, it will rebuild the system image so that future SFC scans can succeed. The third powerful built-in repair command is the check disk repair. You should run this command when the file or directory is corrupt and a readable message pops up, or your programs freeze when trying to read or write files. Type check disk, which is a built-in utility for checking and repairing disk. And replace drive C with your targeted drive. F fixes logical file system errors. R locates the bad physical sectors, recovers readable data, and marks the bad areas so that Windows won't use them again. When you run this command, it goes through several stages. It initially scans the master file table and all file records, repairs logical errors by fixing wrong timestamps, incorrect file sizes, and corrupt entries. And in the second stage of the process, it will read every sector in used space, which is where files are stored. If a bad sector is found, it tries to move data out of it into a healthy sector and it will go on to scan the free space for bad sectors and max them so they won't be used later. If you are checking the system drive, which is usually the drive C, Windows can't lock it whilst running. So on restart, Windows will run check disk before booting so it can safely repair. On using this command, overall, the logical file system errors will be corrected and your system will become more stable. Files will stop disappearing and crashes caused by disk errors will go out. 
away. The next powerful built-in repair command in Windows is the network reset commands. If websites won't load even though Wi-Fi or Ethernet shows connected and you receive error messages like Windows could not automatically detect this network's proxy settings, socket error or network reset required. And in some cases where malware or broken apps corrupt the network and browser or certain apps can't connect, type NESH which calls the network shell for managing Windows networking. WinSock is a short form for Windows Socket API. Reset deletes the WinSock catalog which is the list of network service providers and restores the default. On running this command, Windows will remove all custom WinSock entries from apps, VPN clients or malware, rebuild WinSock with just the default TCP IP entries and after reboot, apps will start fresh network communication as if the PC is newly installed. If you are experiencing no internet, even after reconnecting to Wi-Fi or internet, you receive errors like unidentified network or no valid IP configuration or your troubleshooter reports IP stack issues. Type NESH. INT, which is a shorthand for interface. IP, which is the internet protocol settings. Reset, which wipes the TCP IP stack and restores it to factory default. In the background, this command will delete and rewrite some registry keys, which will clear all custom IP settings. And from there, it will force Windows to reconfigure network adapters as if they were freshly installed. After a reboot, the adapter will request a new IP address from the router. In different situations where you are experiencing websites load incorrectly or you are being redirected to wrong servers, type ipconfig, which is the tool for viewing and configuring IP settings, flash DNS, which will clear the local DNS results in the background, it will delete all storage domain to IP mappings in memory, which will prevent being stuck on old IP addresses. It also helps against DNS hijacking or poison when malware tempers with cache. Our fifth powerful built-in command repair is the Windows Boot Repair for startup issues. If you are experiencing black screen at startup with messages like operating system not found or error loading operating system, after removing malware that may have overwritten the master boot record, you need to type the boot rec command. To properly run the boot rec command, you would have to restart your PC. If you're already in Windows, hold down the shift and restart the PC. If you're not booting from Windows, as soon as it boots, press F8, F11 or Shift plus F8 to enter the advanced boot options. Once you are in the Windows recovery, select Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and click command prompt. From here, you can use the bootrec command. Type bootrec, which is a tool for repairing boot related issues in Windows recovery environment. Fix MBR. Write a new master boot record to the system partition without touching existing partitions or data. What happens is that it overrides only the first sector of the disk. With a clean Windows compatible boot code, your partition table will be left untouched so that your data and partitions remain safe. In situations where Windows is installed but not showing in the boot menu or you are experiencing multi-boot system where one Windows install is missing, type boot rec scan os which scans all disks for windows installation not currently in the boot configuration data store in the background it will check every connected drive for valid windows folders compare findings with entries in the boot configuration data store and return a list of windows installations that aren't registered in boot options Situations where you are experiencing a severe boot problem where Windows can't be detected or started even after replacing the disk or reinstalling. Type boot reg rebuild BCD which rebuilds the entire boot configuration data store. In the background, it will create a fresh boot configuration data store if it's missing or corrupted. To also add detected Windows installations into the boot menu. And finally, it will relink boot manager, your operating system loader and Windows installation together. Now, if you don't want to type all these commands manually, I have combined every single one of the commands into a simple program, the ultimate Windows repair tool. The download link is pinned in the comment section.